Before starting this video, I would like to apologize to all D&D DMs. Some stuff on this list is pretty stupid. First, start human variant with sharpshooter feet and go level 1 ranger. At level 2, pick archery fighting style and hunter's marks as one of your spells. At level 3, go hunter subclass with colossus slayer. At level 4, pick crossbow expert as a feat. Next, multi-classing into Cleric and pick World Domain and take 6 levels. Now, let's see what we get here. Because of the sharpshooter feet, you can hit anything 400 feet away without disadvantage. If it's under 90 feet, your attack roll is 10 from Channel Divinity and even with the minus 5 from sharpshooter, your attack is about plus 12. And if it's a hit and it will hit, the damage is 1d10 plus 1d6 plus 1d8 plus 10 plus dexterity. And because you're a level 5 ranger, you're gonna get extra attack. All of that is an average of 54 per round. That still only counts as one! This might sound stupid, because it is. So, start rogue with a race that gives you dexterity. At level 3, take Assassin for the crits. From level 4 to 8, go Fighter for the action search, extra attack and dueling. Next, 1 level in Cleric with World Domain and 1 level in Warlock for the Hex. Don't forget to max out Dexterity for the plus 5. In the end, you are a level 10 Rogue Fighter Cleric Warlock. Good luck explaining that. Next, you are going to cast Invisibility and sneak up on the villain that your DM worked a lot to prepare. Next, you're gonna use Hex on him. When you are going to hit, you will deal 12d8, 16d6, plus 42. An average of 162 at level 10. This next one is not that broken, but anyway. So, you are a life domain cleric and you are going to cross class into Lord Bard and get magical secret ability. Go to the druid spell list and pick up Goodberry. This normally gives you 10 blueberries with 1 HP each. But now, with Life Disciple, you get plus 2 plus the spell level per berry. So if you cast it at first level, you get 40 HP that you can split with the party. Okay, so actually, this is one of the two that I have actually banned at my table. Let me explain why. This one is pretty simple. First, take two levels in Druid and take Circle of the Moon. Then switch to Barbarian and take Totem of the Bear. Now, you can Wild Shape into a Brown Bear that is raging and is resistant to all damage except Psychic. With 34 HP, the enemy needs 68 to turn you back. And now you, you can wall shape back into a bear plus your normal HP. This one is pretty famous and for a good reason. So basically, you start with Warlock and you multiclass into Sorcerer. Then you convert all of your Warlock spell slots into Sorcery points and those Sorcery points into Sorcerer spell slots. And the Warlock regains all of his spell slots during a short rest. The problem is the Eldritch Invocation aspect of the moon. If you take this one, you don't need to sleep. So, while the party takes a long rest, you take 8 short rests and start spamming Sorcerer spell slots. So basically this means that you gain infinite spell slots. And then your DM will probably kill you. 